Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Big Oggy Golf. Or should I say, more accurately, welcome to Big Oggy, or Big Oggy and Friends, or the Big Oggy channel. There's going to be very little golf on this channel for a while, and I'm sure you understand why. Lockdown is on week four here in the UK, uh, and in Cornwall, we're still doing okay. We're still doing pretty well. Um, I'm kind of used to living in a kind of lockdown situation anyway, with my wife um, being ill quite a lot and um, with their disabilities. So we're kind of getting used to things um, as it goes. Uh, it's just a bit strange. Like I said, I, I use golf as an escape. And it sounds awful, but it's a, as a nice escape. It's a way to go out and meet other people and socialise. And uh, you know, that's why Big Eye Golf was born, really. Um, so it is tricky for that. Uh, but you know, thanks to social media, we can still socialise in some way. Uh, how are you all doing, everybody? Uh, let us know. Let us know in the comments how you're doing. Are you struggling? Are you really missing golf? Strangely enough, I don't think I am. And that sounds awful when you run a golf channel. Um, but, you know, I love golf. I love golf with a passion. And that's why I have the channel. And that's why you watch. And that's why you interact with me and we do stuff together. But at the moment, life is just far more important. Um, I am currently outside St. Burian Farm Shop. St. Burian uh, is a little village just down the road from where I live. And uh, I've been picking up things uh, that I need, essential supplies. I've been picking up bread flour. Bread flour, I know. I've been learning a new skill. Um, I am now a baker. No, I'm not a master baker. Oh, well, let's uh, rephrase that. Um, but I am baking. I am learning to bake bread. Um, a couple of examples will be here. Um, doing okay with it, actually. Really enjoying it. Got some books. Learning new skills. And... Uh, doing a lot of gardening at home as well. And, uh, well, you just have to keep muddling through, don't you? Keep buggering on, as they say. And um, I don't turn too many ums. Sorry about this. Just thinking off the cuff here as I'm just sitting here. I'm sitting here waiting because I've just picked up uh, some bread flour and some bits and pieces that I need here. Uh, not going to the big supermarkets unless we really have to. Once every three weeks, I think, at the moment, we're doing supermarkets. Uh, but I'm waiting for pasties. I know. St. Burry in Cornwall and St. Burry in Farm Shop. If you ever come in this area, St. Burry, in, in my opinion, do probably the best pasties in West Cornwall, certainly. So if you're going to be here, you might as well pick up some pasties. And they're going to come out hot from the oven in about five minutes. So I'm just, so I'll just put together a little video. Uh, so, golf. Golf is still suspended. Not sure for how long. We're not sure how long lock, lockdown is going to be, let's be honest. This is week four government said it was only three weeks that was one of those just very nice ways of saying we don't really know how long it's going to be but we're just going to give you three weeks for now to kind of keep you all happy and hopefully if we you know if we just said 10 weeks or 12 weeks or 20 weeks or whatever you'd have all gone ballistic and started running around the streets you're doing that anyway but you know what i mean uh it's the equivalent of the eat five fruit and veggie day some countries do seven some countries do 11 in britain it's five like, you can just about do five if we're lucky without rebelling. So, are you in a rebellious mood right now? Do you really feel like you need to go on a course? Like I said, I've not really missed golf. Maybe in a couple of weeks' time, I'll go and clean my clubs. I don't have uh, a big garden, and the little garden I've got is pretty much a wilderness. We only moved in last year, and it's taken some time to get it sorted. And I'm trying to do that, and if I get the garden in some kind of condition where I can chip some balls about in it, and it doesn't look like I'm in thick rough all the time, um, maybe I'll do that. But I've got no space to um, set up a simulator, or I don't have the money to buy a simulator. But if I had the space, you know, I don't have it, I wouldn't get one. Um, I've got a putt out, but my carpets are too thick. I know, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? When you're moving to a new house. Um, I'm hopefully going to set up the new studio. I'm building a little film studio up in the loft which will be for Big Oggy Golf and for the Oggy House, and also will be my art studio for um, doing my paintings as well. And that, we're kind of working on that right now. I've got the paint, so I'll be painting the walls. But again, I can't get an electrician in to put in sockets and stuff. It's just frustrating, isn't it? I see all so many people out there who are, well, whether they be builders or just fantastic DIY people, and they've got all the tools and they've got the equipment, and they're just knocking up fantastic things during this lockdown. I look at it and I think, God, all I've done is learn to bake bread. I know. Um, but I'll do some decorating and we'll do our best. And like I said, the, the garden is a wilderness, but I have managed to clear lots of brambles and that sort of stuff. And again, 
lockdown is a, is a difficult issue. It's a frustrating issue because normally you would just put all this kind of stuff in the back of the car and you take it to the recycling dump and you dump all your garden waste. We've got a big brown bin, which only gets emptied to, uh, once every two weeks. <sighs> so it's a slow pro process. And I just look at the whole thing and think, I could build a shed. I'll build a shed. I said to my wife, look, I need a little shed. I'll build a shed. I'll order a shed. We can get a shed from one of these catalog places. We'll get it in. And she said, well, how are you going to put the roof on? Because I'm not big enough and strong enough to help me get it on. And uh, Neil might live in Penzance, but he can't come and see you. And so, again, I'm thinking, maybe I'll build a shed sideways and try and lift it up. Frustrating life, isn't it, in lockdown? Um, so, updates. Let's do a few updates. Um, like I said, at the moment, we're we're struggling to get any golf stuff out. The golf day still exists. Um, oh, I'm being waved at. Back in a second, I've got to get my pasties. Okay, back in the room, or back in the car. Pasties, very heavy pasties. You don't, you don't get a proper Cornish pasty unless you can just about lift it. Fantastic. So, guess what we're on for tea? I know. I have to say, with this baking lark at the moment, I might end up learning how to bake my own Cornish pasties, and then I'll show you how to do them. That'll be on the Oggy House. So, <clears throat> where were we? I'm digressing. Oh, yeah, let's do a bit of an update. The Big Oggy Golf Day. The Big Oggy Golf Day still exists, and at the moment is still on target for the correct date at the start of September. Um, been no news from the hotel, obviously. Things are very fluid right now. We don't really have to make a decision until, hmm, I reckon first week in, April, in August. Uh, that was when we were kind of expecting for the rest of the deposit to be paid. So let's leave it for now and let's assume it's okay. Uh, spoke to a big golf company who wants to be one of the sponsors and they're still interested. They're asking if it's still happening. And my answer to them is everything is still very fluid. Everything is still happening. It just means you know, if suddenly we are allowed to all go out and do those sort of things and we can keep it on target around about August, I'll be running around like a blue ass fly trying to get everything organized. That's fine. If it doesn't happen on the date, it will happen. It'll just happen whenever we're allowed to go out and do proper tournaments again, etc. I think by then we'll be able to go and play golf, but whether we'll be allowed to, you know, all congregate in like a hundred people, I don't know, but we shall see. Um, so we just not stagnate, but we just have a bit of a rest, a bit of a rest, bit of recuperation. Enjoy the gardens. Enjoy your time with your families. Hopefully. Hopefully you're enjoying time with your families. Uh, and just forget about golf for a while. Um, we will try and create some videos on the channel. They won't necessarily be golf related, but hopefully it's going to be a bit of fun. I've, I've just seen so many of, of you out there who have got so many skills. Uh, not, not like me. Um, some of them are golf skills. Some of you are out there doing little chipping competitions uh, in your gardens, etc. Maybe I'll get some of you to send some of those videos in of your attempts at trying to do golf in your gardens when it's accessible. Uh, some of you are out there doing fantastic DIY projects. Some of you are doing karaoke. Sean Clancy. My ears are still bleeding from the last one I, I saw on Facebook. Maybe I'll get you to send some of those videos in. So there's an idea. If you've got um, skills and talents, fairly family orientated ones, please let's, let's um, not go too off subject. And you'd like to show them off. Big Oggy Golf is open. Big Oggy Channel is open for your delights. You can contact me on bigoggygolf at gmail.com. Contact me on Twitter. I've got a, a professional Dropbox system, so hopefully we can send fairly big files to each other. And uh, you can send me bits and pieces. You can send me stuff and um, we'll get it on the channel. Why not? Big Oggy Golf and Big Oggy, the channel itself, is a community. And currently that community is struggling. Um, for golf but like I said you're doing so many wonderful things so let's use Big Oggy's channel as a sounding board and a promotional board for you all so send me little videos I'll put them all together little compilations put some music on them I'll try and make them as professional as possible I might even have me laughing on the side if they're that bad um, but we'll put we'll put something together yeah and we'll put out regular videos I'm also going to set up Zoom, which I'm, I'm, some of you other people have done this, and I'm just a bit slow on all that sort of stuff. But I will set that up so we can have some little conference calls, do some video calls. Um, should I do live chat? I've never done live chat yet. Let me look it up. If you want me to do live chat again, let me know. Sorry, I'm knocking this camera about a bit, hand holding. I can't hold this and passes at the same time. Um, so there are lots of ideas. 
Uh, I spoke to Neil the other day. Neil would like to do a Q&A with you. So if you want to send some questions to Neil, not to Matt, uh, Neil being the, you know, the guy on my channel that whacks the ball a long way and has a lot of knowledge about golf, um, ask him some questions. Let's do an Ask Neil video. Let's do an Ask Oggy video. Try and get Matt on the channel. Matt's been very quiet over the last well, four or five weeks, I guess, really. He's obviously, with his business situation, has been a struggle. Got, got a family to look after. Um, sent the occasional message to each other, but so far we haven't managed to find a way of actually connecting up to do something. That's fine. You've you've had the last two videos that I've done with Matt just before uh, lockdown happened, uh, but he's still very much part of the channel. And uh, I'm going to do another video in a day or two. Um, it was going to be, it was going to end up originally going to be a fantastic all singing, all dancing, wonderful video where I went out and met a lot of people uh, who were going to become part of the channel. Lockdown stopped that happening. So... <clears throat> I'm going to introduce you to a bunch of people, okay? I'm going to introduce you to the Buccaneers. I know, the big Oggy Buccaneers. Uh, just a group of people that I've got, a group of golfers that I've arranged um, to get together on the channel from time to time. And uh, we'll tell you more about that when the video happens. You'll understand it more. But Big Oggy Golf is becoming bigger than just Big Oggy. All right? And uh, that will help. That'll help me do filming. It'll help the channel grow and it'll just kind of showcase the southwest of the UK and wherever else we end up and it'll also give you more opportunity to see more of the golfers so I'm going to go for now because um, the past is just it's, the, the car smells delicious and I need to get these home for lunch oh be lovely um, but you know Big Oggy Golf still exists it's just kind of going to be a bit just Big Oggy for a while Big Oggy channel and like I said get those comments in get those questions in for Neil get those questions in for me. It doesn't matter if I have to be golf-related or not golf-related. Um, also, do you want me to do live chat? Do you want us to do uh, Zoom conference calls, etc., on video? And uh, would you like to showcase some of your talents? I've got ones already set up, which I'm putting together now. Uh, funny, bad, I don't care. We just put it on, all right? Show off your talents. Show them off on Big Oggy Golf. See you all later, crew. Keep safe. Keep locked down. And to all intents and purposes, forget proper golf for now. It ain't happening. Don't get yourself stressed out about it. Just enjoy time at home. Learn, you know, research. Practice those little short game skills if you can, those putting skills. Read, learn how to bake. Do those, all the stuff around the house that, that your wife or your partner have been saying, you've got to get done because it's driving me mad. Get them all done, and then when we can go out and play golf, we'll be able to go play golf more often because you'll have done all the jobs you needed to do. See you all soon, everybody. Look after yourselves. Thanks very much for watching. Stick with us, all right? Stick with us. Bye for now.